Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ann. Today, let's talk about how to create embeddings for categorical variables. A categorical variable is a variable used to represent categories or labels. Machine learning and deep learning models only work with numerical values. Therefore, we will need to convert a categorical variable into numerical values to be able to feed them into a machine learning or deep learning model. Traditionally, we convert categorical variables into numbers by either one-hot encoding or label encoding. So let's review one-hot encoding and label encoding briefly. First, what is one-hot encoding? In one-hot encoding, we build as many features as the number of unique categories in that feature, and for every row, we assign a value of 1 to the feature representing that row's category, and the rest of features are marked as 0. The one-hot encoding becomes problematic when you have a lot of categories or unique values in the feature, leading to a very sparse data. And as each vector is equidistant from every other vector, the relationship between variables is lost. Now let's talk about label encoding. Label encoding is simply converting each value in that column to an integer. This technique is very simple, but induces comparison between feature categories because it uses number sequencing. However, if we have three transportation modes, for example, bus, car, and bicycle, and we label them 1, 2, and 3 respectively, we would implicitly assume there is an order or weight associated with each mode, which may not be what we design to do. And now let's talk about categorical embedding. In categorical embedding, each categorical variable category is mapped to an n-dimensional vector. This mapping is learned by a neural network during a standard supervised training process. After that, we will replace each category with their corresponding vectors in our data. The advantages of categorical embedding in comparison to the previous two encoding approaches are, first, we can limit the number of columns we need per category. This is useful when a variable has many categories. And second, the generated embeddings obtained from a neural network reveals the intrinsic properties of categorical variables, meaning that similar categories will have similar embeddings. This tutorial shows how you can create categorical embeddings for machine or deep learning models. We are going to use a data set that you can download from Kaggle. And the data set pertaining to medical cost, there are a few variables of our interest. Regarding features, we have age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, and region. Let's go over each feature. Age is the age in years uh, of the primary beneficiary of the health insurance contractor. And the sex is the insurance contractor's gender, either male or female, is a categorical variable. BMI denotes body mass index, and it is continuous variable. Children denotes the number of children or dependents covered by health insurance, is also a numerical variable. Smoker denoting smoking status, either smoker or non-smoker, which is a categorical variable, and region denotes the insurance beneficiaries residential area in the U.S., either in the Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, or Northwest. So a uh, region is another categorical variable. And finally, we have dot target, which is charges, uh, denoting individual medical cost built by ins health insurance, and it is a continuous variable. We are going to use the categorical embedder, uh, which is a high-level Python API that can help with creating the embeddings for categorical variables. 
And uh, the categorical embedder API works with lower versions of Keras and TensorFlow. So we need to downgrade Keras and TensorFlow uh, before we can utilize the categorical embedder. And also make sure that you may need to restart runtime before you can import the downgrade versions of TensorFlow and Keras um, and uh, other various packages. And also, you need to install the categorical uh, embedder using the pip install. And then uh, you can import other pertinent libraries. You need to mount your Google Drive to Colab in order to use uh, the uh, data set downloaded from Kaggle, which is stored in the Google Drive. You can open the data set and take a look the data set has a total of 1,338 observations and seven uh, variables in total, including uh, the six features, age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, region, as well as our target, which is the charges. And as you can see, the sex, smoker, and the region are three categorical variables, where the other features are numerical variables. We can separate the features from the target uh, using the uh, job function in NumPy, uh, in Pandas. And uh, then uh, we can use the get embedding info function uh, in categorical embedder, which identify the categorical variables. So the get embedding info function returns a dictionary uh, with tuples of number of categories and then embedding size. So the default is that the size of the embedding to be half as the number of categories if the number of category is a uh, even number. Uh, otherwise, uh, the size of embedding would be uh, half of the number of categories plus one uh, you know, if the number uh, of categories uh, is a uh, odd number. Okay. Uh, so uh, here uh, we use the get embedding info x, uh, and the resulting dictionary looks like we have sex, uh, which has two categories. So that is going to create a single uh, embedding dimension. And for smoker, uh, it has two categories, yes or no, and uh, the resulting embedding would also be one-dimensional. And region had four categories, and the resulting uh, embedding would have two that would be two-dimensional. Uh, for example, if the region have five uh, categories, and then uh, the embedding size would be three uh, instead. And then we can use the get label encoded data, uh, which integer encodes the categorical variables uh, and prepare it to feed to the neural network. Uh, so here, uh, as you can see, we use the get label encoded data uh, to integer encode uh, the categorical variables. And if we take a look of the X encoded, we will see that sex has been uh, replaced with 0, 1, uh, smoker with 1, 0, and region with uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. We can also uh, take a look of the encoder schema. And as you can see, uh, the program automatically identified the three categorical variables and used the label encoder function to integer encode them. Now that split the data into the twin and the test set using the scikit-learn twin test split function. And now we are ready to twin a neural network model to create embeddings. Uh, we are going to use the get embeddings function, uh, which is going to twin the neural network model. And uh, we are also going to extract embeddings and return a dictionary containing the embeddings. So the get embeddings function asks for the following arguments. First, we need to provide the twin set uh, 
the X train and Y train. We also need to provide the embedding information. And uh, we need to specify uh, whether our target is a continuous variable or a categorical variable, because now uh, the target is the charges, which is a continuous variable. So therefore, we set its classification equals false. And finally, you need to set some hyperparameters for the neural network model, including the number of epochs you're going to train the model and also uh, the batch size. So we are going to train the model with 100 epochs with a batch size of 32. And after the training, you can take a look of the learned embeddings. As you can see, the learned embeddings is, is in a dictionary format. Uh, you have first uh, the embeddings for sex, uh, which is just a y-dimensional with two numbers uh, denoting the two categories. And uh, for smoker, it also a, a one-dimensional uh, embedding, uh, just two categories. Uh, and as you can see, the categories are represented by continuous distributed variables with decimal points. Uh, actually, the data type is uh, uh, float32. And for region is, as you can see, it's create two dimensional embeddings. You can also take a look of the shape embeddings using uh, uh, the dot shape uh, attribute. So if you don't like the dictionary format, you can also convert it to a data frame for easy readability. Uh, we are going to use the get embeddings in data frame function to create data frames uh, for each uh, variable's embeddings. And as you can see, the embeddings for regions look at the following. Uh, for northeast, uh, it uses this two uh, numbers to represent northeast uh, and for northwest southwest southeast and southwest is also used two numbers uh, float 32 number to represent uh, all the four region categories and as you can see the embedding for sex uh, you just use a single number to represent female and another number to represent male for smoker again uh, there's one uh, uh, float 32 number to represent uh, non-smoker and another uh, number to represent smoker. And now uh, we can include these embeddings in our data frame. Uh, we just need to use the fit transform function uh, in the category uh, in the, uh, the 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 category embedder. Uh, module and you need to provide uh, the, the, the features and also the embeddings and encoders. Uh, you can also optionally remove the original categorical variables uh, because uh, you are going to use the Im embedded version of the data for machine and deep learning. So therefore, you probably do not need the original categorical variables. So therefore, I choose drop categorical variable equals true if you take a look of the fit and transformed data frame, uh, we see that the original categorical variables are removed and now we ha just have the embeddings for sex, for smoker, and uh, two embeddings for the four regions. And uh, this data set has been in a format that can be fed to a machine learning or deep neural network for further modeling and analysis. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention.